I think there are a number of different tools, but basically there are two different categories. There's one uh, about uh, having healthy food available. So if you don't have healthy food avail available, uh, there will be no chances that people would start to eat healthier. The other tool is a more education-oriented tool that uh, the people who should eat healthier, they need to be educated. And uh, during that process, they need to uh, to be actively involved, so they influence the uh, development of the educational tools that are going to be used. I think is an important principle if you want to change that uh, trend in Europe. I think it depends on uh, what kind of group you're talking about. If you talk about children, uh, I think uh, school teachers, uh, their parents and uh, their peers uh, are extremely important uh, groups to, uh, to involve. If you talk about uh, people in the community, uh, you have to uh, involve people from the municipality who are actively engaged uh, in the community and uh, who are doing work in the community. So it depends on, on, on the concrete uh, group. And of course, it is especially a huge challenge to get the more vulnerable groups uh, involved because they don't have the resources, they, probably don't see eating as the most important part of uh, uh, their life. You need to engage people who are used to work with these kind of groups so they can motivate uh, the different uh, vulnerable groups to eat healthier. The most uh, influential uh, initiative is uh, um, to change, you could say, the uh, more typical uh, top-down teaching where pupils are always told what they should do. You should uh, integrate a much more uh, innovative, a much more participatory teaching approach where young people themselves are discovering the need for healthy eating. They are themselves uh, being involved in developing the uh, uh, solutions that have to be uh, addressed. So this way of uh, having a much more participatory education style, you could say, is uh, probably the most important thing to, uh, uh, to do. And then of course to support that, you need uh, teachers who are used to train and teach in that way. You need a school uh, principal who is uh, motivated and who can support uh, her teachers in doing that, so you need a lot of a lot of different kinds of supporting structures around the uh, more innovative teaching processes. Health promotion material is characterized by uh, having a balance between, on the one hand, to be developed and to contain. Uh, sound, scientific, uh, you could say knowledge, but at the other hand they also have to present that knowledge in a more everyday life uh, language that pupils they understand. So for instance uh, pupils they don't want to work with uh, nutrition, they want to work with food and canteens, pupils don't want to work with physical exercise, they want to work with dance, play, sport, and so on. So you need to change the language uh, in the materials you, you are doing. And then you need teachers who are able to use these materials in a way so pupils still have an influence what's going to happen themselves.